Hello, my dear students of class 6. Today, we are going to be doing the actual, this, this today is the second session, and today we will be doing the actual reading of the first lesson from your English textbook, which is Honeysuckle. And the lesson that we are going to be doing is the first lesson called Who Did Patrick's Homework? Who did Patrick's homework? Well, let's read and find out. Before that, I would like to find out if, from you if you have gone through the words that were discussed and explained, meanings of the words were explained to you in the last session. I hope you know the meanings of the words that were discussed in the last session so that it makes it easier for you to go ahead and understand the lesson better. Right? Let's begin. Lesson number one, who did Patrick's homework? It's by a wonderful author called Karen Moore. Before we read the lesson, there uh, are a few questions that I'd like to discuss with you and which is also there in your textbook. Do you really like homework? Do you like homework? I know when I was a kid, I also did not like homework. I used to be like, why are they giving us so much of work from school? We're already studying so much in school, plus we have to come back home and study. We don't get to play much because we have a lot of homework. Yes, so it is a little cumbersome. It is a little difficult for you to go ahead and do homework. I also felt the same way. All right, the next question that we have here is, do you do it yourself or do you get help? Ask yourself that question. Do you take anybody's help when you do your homework? Do you take your mother's help or your father's help or your elder brother's help or someone who is older to you? Do you take their help or do you actually remember what has been taught to you in class and do you go back and think about it and then do your homework? How does it work for you? Tell me about it, right? We move on to the next question. What homework do you usually have? You usually will have math homework because it's really difficult. Uh, math, most students find it difficult, but some of you might find it really easy. All right, so you will have math homework. You will have your science homework, physics, chemistry, biology. You will have uh, maybe languages also, or social studies, all right? So these are different kinds of tasks that are given by teachers to you so that you can go home and not forget the lesson that has been done in class. That's the only reason you get to do some work at home, and it's called homework, all right? Now let's get down to the actual reading of the lesson. Who did Patrick's homework? Patrick never did homework. Too boring, he said. He played hockey, basketball, and Nintendo instead, all right? Just some of the sentences in the story have a, a rhyming scheme to it, all right? So pay attention to the words as and when I read it so that you can get those rhyming schemes that are there which are a part of the story, all right? I'm going to read that again. Patrick never did homework. Too boring, he said. He played hockey, basketball, and Nintendo instead, all right? Nintendo, like we discussed in the previous session, is a video game. So this boy, Patrick, did not like homework. He said it was too boring, but instead he liked playing basketball, hockey, and Nintendo video games. All right, so his teacher told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. All right, so he said, do your homework or don't, or you won't learn a thing. And it's true, sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus, but what could he do? He hated homework, all right? Yes, he knew that he felt like an ignoramus person or an ignorant person most of the time trying to ignore the homework given to, to him by the teacher, but he couldn't do anything. What could he do? He just did not like homework. He hated homework. All right, then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away, all right? So one day, this boy Patrick saw his cat, his pet cat, playing with a little doll. 
and then he grabbed it, meaning he took it away. Now, to his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all, but a man of the tiniest size, all right? So when he took away or grabbed the doll from the cat, he saw that it wasn't an actual doll that the cat was playing with, but it was a tiny little man. Alright, he had a little wool shirt with old fashioned birches and a high tall hat, much like a witch's. Alright, see there's a writing scheme in that as well. Let's read that again. He had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat, much like a witch's. Alright, so if you've seen a witch's hat, it generally will be like this, all right? So it will, it will be a little tall and elongated on top, all right? So he had a little wool shirt. So this tiny little doll that the cat was playing with, that Patrick grabbed, it had a little wool shirt. So the shirt that the doll was wearing was woolen and with old-fashioned Bridges, all right. So I told you what is bridges in the last session. They are short pants compared to longer ones. They are like three fourths, okay. And a high tall hat, much like a witch's, all right. So the little person whom the whom Patrick had in his hand had a hat just like a witch's hat, all right. Let's read along. He yelled, save me, don't give me back to that cat, I'll grant you a wish, I promise you that. Alright, so then the little boy, uh, the, the little uh, doll that the cat was playing with, that Patrick grabbed, wasn't an actual doll, it was a tiny little person. Alright, and what is a tiny little person called? He is called an elf, and this person has supernatural powers. So he says, I'll, please save me. He tells Patrick, please save me. Don't give me back to that cat. Maybe the cat was troubling the poor little tiny man. And he says, I'll grant you a wish. I promise you that. So the tiny little man tells Patrick, don't give me back to the cat. If you keep me and don't give me back to the cat, I'll grant you a wish. And I promise you that. That's what he says. So he promises him a wish. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. What were his problems? His problem was he found homework really, really boring. And that was one of his problems. Alright? So Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days, if you do a good enough job, I could even get A's. Alright? So he says, only if you do all my homework. So Patrick says, I will not give you back to that cat, tiny young man, or tiny little man. I'm not going to give you back to that cat, but... You, but since you're granting me a wish, you will do all my homework till the end of the semester or the end of the academic year, which was in 35 days. So he was towards the end of his semester or end of the academic year, and it was going to be in a little more than a month's time, 35 days. Now, if you do a good enough job, I could even get A's. So because the tiny little man promised Patrick to do his homework for him, he said, if you do a good job, Patrick tells the little tiny man that if you do a good job, I might even get an A in my paper or in my, uh, for my homework that I do. All right? The lit let's read along. The little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth. Now if you have a cloth, what is a dishcloth? A dishcloth is a cloth that you use to wipe 
the dishes after you wash them. So you go and wash your plate or you wash one of the dishes in your house and then you take a cloth and then you wipe it dry. Now, when you wipe it dry, the cloth pulls in all the water that's there on the plate and when you wring it or turn it around, water comes out, alright? And this is what he describes it. The little man's face was wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper. The hamper is a laundry basket and just like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper, the little man had wrinkled face, meaning he had lines or uh, wrinkles on his face. He kicked his legs and doubled his fists. Alright, so he kicked his legs, meaning with his legs, he kicked it this way and he doubled his fist, meaning this is his fist, he doubled it together and what does he do? And he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips. Alright, grimaced meaning, tell me the meaning of the word grimaced, you all learned it in the last session, grimaced meaning uh, it's an expression that you have in his face. So he's giving him a wish. The tiny little man is giving Patrick a wish. But then Patrick says, you have to do all my homework. Then the man, the tiny little man, he says, oh, I have to do his homework. He makes that expression. So he grimaced and scowls and pursed his lips. All right. So he grimaced and scowled. He really made a really shrieking sound. And then he pursed his lips, alright? He pursed his lips, he put it together, and then he says, Oh, I am cursed, but I'll do it. Alright, so he says, Oh, I am cursed, but I'll still do it. I'll help you with your homework. Understood? Let's move along. And true to his word, that little elf, I told you what a little elf is. It's a tiny little person that looks like a human being, but this person has magical powers. He's able to do a few things which are supernatural. All right? And true to his word, that little elf began to do Patrick's homework, except there was a glitch. What is the meaning of the word glitch? Glitch is a fault in, in a machine that prevents it from working properly. So what was the glitch here? The glitch was the meaning of the word glitch that's used in this lesson. It means there was a glitch, there was a problem. Alright? So let's read what the glitch was. The elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help. Alright, so if you look at the picture over here, you can see the tiny little elf and you can see Patrick the little boy, he is helping him with his homework. Alright, so but this little elf, he did not really know how to do all the work. Alright, so he still cried out, help me, help me, he'd say, and Patrick would have to help in whatever way. Alright, so Patrick, he, this little man, he turned to Patrick and said, No, you must help me. I don't know this. I don't know that. Help me, help me, he says. And Patrick always tried to help him do his own homework. Alright, so Patrick helped the little man do, or the little elf, do his own homework. Alright? I don't know this word, the elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. A squeak is to have a short high pitched sound. He says, I don't know how this, I don't know this word, the elf squeak. Alright, while reading Patrick's homework. Get me a dictionary. No, what's even better, look up the word and sound it out by each letter. Alright, so there was a situation where the little elf who was helping Patrick with his homework, he did not know a certain word. And then he says, he goes and tells Patrick, go and get me a dictionary. No, wait, don't get me a dictionary. Look for the meaning of the word in the dictionary and sound it out by each letter. 
meaning say each letter of the word aloud all right say it aloud that is what he says all right and that let's move on when it came to math patrick was out of luck all right when it came to math patrick was out of luck the little elf did not know math too well all right so that is why patrick was out of luck because the elf didn't know math too well let's read on there are what are three times i'm sorry i'm going to read that again what are times tables the elf shrieked shriek is also a really high pitched sound that is made by a person just like when a baby cries you see that the baby has a really high pitched sound and that is what you call a shriek all right so what are times tables the elf shriek we elves never need that all right so he says why do we need to learn tables like you know 3 times 2 or 2 times 3 why do we need to learn all this we elves we tiny little people with supernatural powers don't really need that is what he says and addition and subtraction and division and fractions all right so he says what are all these things what is addition what is division what is subtraction what is a fraction why do people need to know all these things so the elf really never knew math all right so that's why he asks patrick this here sit down beside me you simply must guide me all right so the elf says we don't know math so please sit down next to me and guide me as to how we should do addition subtraction division or or something like fractions how do we do it all right so he goes ahead and takes patrick tell elves know nothing of human history to them it's a mystery all right so the elves are tiny little people and uh, they don't really know need to know what or what happened in the past or what human history is or what happened or with this king or what happened before that he did they didn't know need to know all these things all right to them it was all a mystery right so the little elf already a shouter just got louder all right so the little elf who was already a shouter meaning for everything he used to shout why do you think he used to shout because he was a tiny little man and if a tiny little man talks it won't you won't be able to hear it from too far because he is a very small man and his voice also will be low all right which is why he had to shout so that patrick could actually hear him all right so he says uh i'm sorry uh the so the little elf already a shout and just got louder all right so he began he was a shouter he used to always shout all the time but this time he was a little louder than what he used to shout all right go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too all right so he says go to the go to the library patrick and get me some books more and more and more books and you should help me read them too as a matter of fact every day in every way that little elf was a nag all right so in every possible way every single day that the elf had patrick he was a nag or a person who always keeps asking you some things we discussed this in the previous session right let's move along so he was a nag Patrick was working harder than ever and it and was it a drag all right so Patrick he never liked doing homework but because the elf said he was going to help him and the elf did not know math he did not know history Patrick actually got to helping the little elf do his own homework all right so he started learning right let's move along he was staying up nights and never felt so weary was going to school with his eyes puffed and bleary all right we discussed what the word weary and bleary is in the last class bleary is when you see things which 
are not clear but are very blurred. It usually happens when you wake up in the morning. Puffed eyes is eyes which are swollen up after you've had like a previous night's sleep or if you've had no sleep the previous night. Also your eyes start swelling up because it has not got enough rest. Alright, let's read along. Finally, the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go. Alright, so the elf was free to go on the last day of school because Patrick said there were only 35 days left for his, to the end of his semester. So the elf helped him for 35 days and it was the last day and the elf was free to go. As for homework, there was no more. So he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door, alright? So there was no more homework for do. so the little elf slyly, meaning very secretly, he slipped out the back door, meaning he went out through the back door. Right? Let's move along. Patrick got his A's. His classmates were amazed. His teachers smiled and were full of praise. And his parents, they wondered what had happened to Patrick. He was now the model kid. Cleaned his room, did his chores, was cheerful, never rude. Like he had developed a whole new attitude. Alright, see the right way the, the words are rhyming in this paragraph. Alright, so Patrick got, got A's. So he got A's in all the subjects that he did his homework for. His classmates were amazed. They were like, wow, Patrick, you're amazing. His teachers smiled and were full of praise, meaning his teachers praised him for whatever job he did. Alright, so they praised him for it. And his parents? They wondered what had happened to Patrick, alright? His parents wondered, what has happened to Patrick? How come he's doing all these things? He's a changed person. He was now the model kid, alright? So he was now a model for other people to see around him. He cleaned his room, did his chores, was cheerful, never rude. Cheerful meaning he was happy, he was never rude. Like he had developed a whole new attitude, a whole new liking towards something, alright? And he wanted to do that more. You see, in the end, Patrick still thought he made that tiny man do all his homework. But, I'll share a little secret, just between you and me, it wasn't the elf, Patrick had done it himself. Alright, so it wasn't the little elf that helped Patrick do the homework, it was actually Patrick who did everything. He looked through the dictionaries, he did his math because the elf did not know math, and at the end of it, Patrick, for his hard work, even though he thought that the elf was helping him, it was Patrick who was actually doing his own homework, and he got good aim. So it just goes to show, that if you are a hard-working person, if you are a hard-working student, you get to score good marks in your class or in the tests that are conducted for you. Well, that brings us to the end of this session. What I want you to do once this is done for homework is I want you to read this first lesson aloud. Alright? Read the first lesson aloud. I want you to hear yourself while you are reading this lesson so that you can learn in two ways. First, you are learning by reading the lesson so you will know the words. And second is when you hear your own voice, that's like another way of information getting into your head. So you start getting accustomed or you start getting used to this. Alright, please do that from, please read through the first lesson from the Honeysuckle uh, textbook, was, which is Who Did Patrick's Homework? I hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, in, the, in the further sessions that we do, we will go ahead and discuss the question and answers for this lesson. Uh, also, please do make sure you subscribe to videos on our YouTube channel which is shreesarbagnaschool.com 
Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.